It's a red light again. Oh, I almost made it. Almost, but well, all right, currently I'm going to work. Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. It's been a hot minute since I've vlogged in this channel. And I used to vlog almost every single day. Like, I don't know what happened. I think it's just ever since I got this full-time job, two years ago, two and a half years ago, <laughs> it's just my day has become so hectic. So it's just so hard to for me to take my time, set up my camera and talk. But I'm currently going to work. I'm gonna take you guys with me one week in my life vlog. It's actually Tuesday. Like. It just occurred to me last Friday when it was like Easter Friday, I did so many like fun things and things that are interesting that maybe it's gonna be fun to watch in a vlog. And I didn't vlog it. I'm like, okay, I am gonna start vlogging again. This is what it feels like to be a YouTuber with a full-time job. Cause I'm such a small YouTuber and the YouTube money definitely does not afford me to just like make a full living. So I have to keep my job. So if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe and don't skip the ads. All right, let's go to work. A really quick desk tour. This is my desk. We have two screens. I have this little shelf thing and this is my humidifier. I love it so much. I'll link it down below and this is a salt lamp. It really brings the warmth and some lights because you can tell like my desk is super, 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 super dark. And I basically just do work with my computer. I sit nine hours a day. Oh, the most important thing is to get a good headphone. This is the Sony one. I'll link it down below too. And it's really soundproof. The only thing is I felt like those headphones are a little bit heavy. So I just feel like it's really heavy on my head. Hey yo guys, we're here at my gym. I'm about to teach my yoga class. It's actually raining right now. Not the best weather, so some people actually cancel my class. I'm just so sad. Like, and also I forgot to vlog. I ate rice and canes for lunch. It was so bad. And like, I've been eating out every single lunch because I just felt weird. Like, I bought groceries, but I just didn't have time to cook. And then like, I started eating out. And not a healthy choices eater. It's like, but yesterday I did eat Thai food, like eggplant with chicken, which wasn't bad. But like, Reason Kings is really bad, but today we ran out of time, so we're just eating something really, really quick. So I just keep forgetting vlog during the day just because, like, at work, I obviously I can't vlog much. And then, like, when I hang out with my coworkers, sometimes I'm just really enjoying the conversation, whatever we're doing, and I forgot to vlog again. But I'm about to teach yoga right now, and I have all of my gym clothes. Gym clothes? I have my all of my gym clothes right here. Yeah, I think today I'm going to wear this one. This is so cute. It's from Free People. It's pretty expensive. I saw a um, girl at the gym wearing this. It was so cute. So I asked her where she, where she got it. And at the beginning, I was on the fence because this one was like $60. But it's so cute. It's basically a sports top. But like it's kind of like a top slash bra type of thing. But look at the detailing and also the color. It's like you know, really pretty. I was gonna buy a different color from hers because, like, you know, I felt like it's kind of awkward when we wear this exact same thing, which happened. But like, they don't sell other colors. This is the only color they have. So initially, I was like, maybe I should just pass. But then I found that I have like a blue legging, so I was like, let me just treat myself. I feel like I spent way more money after I started teaching yoga because you don't actually make much teaching yoga. But then I started to like buying all the cute clothes and stuff. So yeah, like usually I would go to the gym if I'm not teaching, but like since I'm teaching, I guess I'm wor not working. I was going to go for a walk after teaching yoga because it's like the perfect tech, perfect weather, perfect time of the day, but it's raining. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully tomorrow when I eat lunch, I'll remember to film a little clip. Maybe I'll cook tonight.
so dark and it's raining and it feels so bad. Like I planned it perfectly. I was like, I'm gonna go teach yoga and then I'm gonna go for a walk, like having a walking meditation. That's not happening today. So I actually didn't work out today. That is okay, I guess. I guess I don't have to work out every single day, but I also didn't work out on Sunday. Normally I do work out every single day, but look at this top. Okay, so we have one unboxing. I wanted to buy a lamp for my office. Like you guys saw that like my office is really dark because there's no window. It's just really, really, really dark. And I do have like one LED lamp on top of my computer screen. I have another salt lamp, but it still feels pretty dark. It's overall really, really dark. So I actually went to the store with my friend and I was like, I wanted to buy a lamp and then we looked around and I just felt like there's no good lamp for like reading purposes. So I was like, I'm gonna try to manifest a perfect lamp for myself. And then, oh, I manifested it. This is the LED desk lamp. And the best part is I got this in PR. Yay, like I really seriously needed the lamp and then I got this in PR. I was like, oh, perfect. So today we're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna test it out. I don't know if it's gonna be perfect yet, but it seems pretty good. It seems like a lamp designated for reading and you can change like the lightings and stuff. <gasps> wow. And this is what it looks like. Ooh. This is what it looks like. So there is like the control panel. And this is from the brand Simpa, Simpa. It kind of sounds like Simba, which is my cat's name, which makes it more interesting. And this is basically where you control the lighting from power off to like the brightest. And then we have this. Oh, this looks so simple and modern. Because I was looking at lamps like in different places like Home Depot, Hobby Lobby, like other places as well. I just feel like most of the lamps are just too like, too much. You know what I mean? I like that simple modern look. And if I don't take it to the office, I can use it at home because I do have like a more modern looking home interior. It's not super long, but it's basically from one arm, one hand to the other. I would say this is like six feet or more. Yeah, probably more than six feet. So this is how long the wire is, which is kind of important, I would say. And they do have a USB charger thing right here. So like if you need to charge something with a USB wire, you can take it right here. I think that's something cool. And then you just put it right here. So tomorrow I may actually take it to work, but let's see what it feels like. I'm actually just keep it at home. Let's turn it on. Wow, this is actually really cool. And you can change, oh my gosh, you can actually change like if it, you want it cool toned, warm, warm toned, wow. So, wow, this is actually really cool. I'm gonna actually keep it at home, I don't know, I really like this. I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. And this is like, level one, level two, level three, level five, four, six, seven, eight, wow. And then you can change the color. See, this is a little bit warmer and this is the warmest. This is like warm tone. Oh, I think this is the warmest. I look super yellow. And this is a, like super blue, a little bit warmer. Oh, that's cool. This is super cool. Let me give you a close shot. All right guys, this is what it looks like. Let's make it a little bit warmer to look at those. So right here, there's like a little touch screen button. You can change the warmth of the lighting. And then here's the brightness and it's basically continuous like this. And you can, they're just continuous level change. And I just really like this. I like the fact that I can change the vibe by just changing this. Cause normally I like a white light, but at work I actually like sunlight, like a warm tone light. Cause our light is actually really, really, really cool. Cool tone. Here is the light bulb right here. So it's like really good for like a reading light because it's not too bright. It's kind of like a satin finish. Should I take it to work? I think I'm gonna try to take it to work tomorrow just because I needed one at work, but I may actually take it home. It's just so slicky. It's just like a, such a slicky look. So I do think, so I do think it looks really cool. It has this very simple modern look, like it's very slicky looking. So 
yeah, I actually really enjoy this. So I will try to set it up tomorrow at work to see how it goes. Yeah, like you can actually rotate this. Wow. This is super, super, super cool. Alrighty, I think it's time for us to make some dinner. What should we make for dinner? Like, uh, maybe it's time to make that eggplant that we bought from Ace Mart left. I think we need to, I haven't cooked for a while and I don't even think I've remembered how to cook, which is really bad. It's such a bad thing that like, if you don't remember how to cook and I used to be really good at cooking too, so. Okay, now let's turn on this kitchen light and start cooking. So we're gonna make some seafood eggplant with the shrimp seafood burger from Trader Joe's and eggplant. Big brain moment so I don't have to worry about getting the shrimps in there because you know this is basically shrimp patty right here. See, so this pack comes with four of these patties which is pretty good and two of these patties. Kind of splashed some oil, but that's all right. For the sauce, we're gonna use the premium oyster sauce and some chili pepper later, chili oil later. So let's just dump in a little bit of salt. This one is actually new. Because, because usually I don't have time to cook, so today I'm thinking about just like do some meal prep also. So we're gonna prep some meals. Just prepare for the this week, not next week, this week. Today's Tuesday, so like this will be like Wednesday lunch and then I'll have like a little bit of like Thursday lunch and maybe go out to eat on Friday. I don't know, but like I've been going out to eat all the time and I just feel like it's not healthy. It's also a little bit too expensive. So we're gonna do the next dish right now. Hey guys, these are the oyster mushrooms that we got from H Mart. I love buying vegetables from H Mart because they have so many different vegetables. And it's just something that I grew up with that I used to eat all of the time. It's just crazy that they're not available in normal grocery stores here. I wish there's an H Mart here, but we don't. But let's cut up these mushrooms. So how you cut these up, like when my f husband first saw this, like he was so overwhelmed. But what you do is just you slice them. Alright All right, guys, this is my seafood eggplant. See all of the eggplants are fully cooked. So now we're gonna do the Trader Joe's seafood payaya. Basically, it's rice with shrimp, calamari, mussels, and bell peppers. It's a really good dish. It's basically enough for like two people if eat on the site. So today we're gonna doctor it a little bit and put like a little bit mushrooms to add more vegetables in there. We're gonna also add some yam noodles to add like a little bit of more like fibers in there. But we're also gonna look at this item. We're gonna cook rice on the side and watch vegetables on the other side because I think they'll be ready during the same time. Ah. 
I do think the palayaya is a little bit too salty for me. It's probably not too salty for everyone, it's just for me. So I do like the fact that by adding more ingredients, it's gonna dilute it a little bit. Just make sure the sauce is evenly coating all of the ingredients. And now we're gonna add in the yam noodles. And what are the yam noodles? So this is what yam noodles are. They're not like real yam yam, but these are just high fiber, very low in calories. It's only 10 calories per serving. It's mainly just fibers right here. Oh, 15 calories. Well, close enough. So we're gonna put it in here as well, just to make it a little bit healthier. Alright guys, this is the modified version of the <laughs> seafood paella. As you can tell, I put some oyster mushrooms and some yam noodles. They look so good and tasty. And you can see there's enough sauce for everything. Like everything is covered in the sauce. And we're gonna dish it in a pan and eat some as today's dinner. Yay! Alright guys, dinner is served. I got some eggplant, some seafood pot yaya. So what I like to do is I meal prep and put the rest for dinner. So I'm just like killing two birds in one stone. Although we're not killing anyone here, we're just trying to be productive. So we're trying to meal prep and make dinner at the same time. And also we made two meals, which should be good for two days. And here I'm just gonna take my laptop out of some YouTube videos. And it's currently nine o'clock. I know I'm eating dinner super late. I probably go to sleep around like 11 o'clock and I will try to wake up as early as possible to make it to work. That's pretty much the story. Like if you have a full-time job and then you are no doing YouTube, you're just grinding every night because during the work, I have to go to work. Like I don't work from home either, which is really tiring because I have to waste 30 minutes to go to work. And to come home, the traffic is usually really bad around five o'clock. So it takes me about like 40 minutes to come home. So it's like one hour and 10 minutes you spend just driving for no reason. But that's a work policy. I can't change it. I can't request a work from home. They denied everyone. So let's just keep on this grinding game and eating my dinner. So right now I'm editing a video of me shopping at Wal H Mart, not Walmart, H Mart. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I like to light up some candles at night or some incense. I just really love that woody, earthy smell. Well, my favorite from Bath & Body Works is actually the Mahogama Woods or something like that. Like, it's really good. I'll try to find it, but I don't know if it's like a Christmas special. And of course, my cat loves me and I love to hang out with my cat. Well, I wish I could hang out with him all day because like for some reason, it's just he gives you this very secure, lovely, homey vibe. I know, but he doesn't like to cuddle too much. Yesterday, I didn't get to vlog at all. Actually, I don't know what happened yesterday. I just felt really, really tired. I came to work and it was very rushed and then I had a lot to do. And then it was just, I guess yesterday was not the best day to vlog either. So, but I did go to the gym. That was pretty nice. So I'm here at my job. It's Thursday, so we have two more days to go. And then it's weekends again. I feel like ever since, I started this 8 to 5. I've been looking forward to weekends like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Well, before when I used to be a doctoral student, I worked 20 hours per week and I feel like I look forward to go to 
my campus, go to my office. I don't know. It's just a big change. I felt like if you work part time, then you look forward to the time you work because you get to interact with people. You get to, you know, do something important. Versus now, it's just like too much, too too much. So yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go in. Let's go work, and then two more days, two more days, and then this weekend. I'm actually excited. We're celebrating someone's birthday first, and then I think we're going to eat the, at this like fancy restaurants where like they spend three hours prepare the fish, where you have to like, have a reservation or something. I'm not a hundred percent sure. My brother-in-law is setting that up, so hopefully that happens. So I'm always looking forward to weekends. So I wish that we have four, a four-day weekends. I wish we have three-day weekends all of the time, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That'll be great, but. Or either like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I think Monday just had a bad rap, and I feel like every Sunday in the evening, I always feel bad because the next day is Monday. But like, if I have Monday off, then I can truly enjoy my Sunday. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Now let's go to work and make some money. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell because. Hopefully one day I'll be a full-time YouTuber that I don't have to drive to work all the time. This eight to five kind of is tiring. Hey guys, I'm currently in my car in the parking lot at the gym. We're gonna go to two workout classes today. The first one is. wontons with beef broth it smells so good and some cauliflower that's kind of old it's dinner time i should cooking dinner do it Hot. it smells so good i think it's because of the beef broth the bone broth all right y'all this is the beef bone broth that we used it contains two grams of protein it's super delicious and healthy i think it's also grass-fed beef, which is nice. And here is the mini wontons. So basically the mini wontons, they don't have a lot of stuffing, but it's perfect for mini wonton soup or in the air fryer. It could be really crispy as salad toppers, or you can put it in the soup like this. It's a super so excited. We gotta go to bed early today. Yummy. Here we go. Oops. You want hot oil? Yes, hot oil. Also, I like this to be spicy, so we use the hot oil. Did you put vinegar? No, no. not yet? Put vinegar in your own. Oh, I put hot oil like this. This is the brand that I use. This is the Chinese vinegar. Zhenjiang vinegar. Here we go. Qingjiang, Qingjiang. I don't know why it spells that way, but it's Zhenjiang sounds. Fun fact, this is actually, I think, the place where my grandpa was born, so. Okay, so it's my grandpa's hometown, but I've never been to that place. So it's kind of almost gone. We need to buy more. I have another one in there. You have another one? Right. It's pretty good. It's good, it's good. So, some hot oil. And some vinegar to enhance the flavor. Those are my essentials. Alright, let's serve dinner and go to bed early. I taught two yoga classes today. Feeling accomplished. Great class. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. And I accidentally today, like it was so awkward, I accidentally wore Christmas color. Like I was wearing like green pants and red shirt. I don't know why. Like 
it, I think it was an accident because like every single Sunday, I put my workout clothes in my bag, in my car. And then every day I'm like taking one leggings and one tank top. And today I just accidentally have a green and a red. I just feel like it's a little bit awkward. I feel like if it's Christmas, then people will be like, oh, your Christmas color, you're intentional. But today I'm like, this is kind of, I don't know, awkward. But we're, let's do another unboxing. So recently, ever since the time change, ever since we changed to daylight saving time, I've been having trouble waking up early in the morning because every day when you wake up before seven, it's still really dark outside. And I felt like it's really, really hard to wake up before the sunrise. Cause like at 7.30ish, I will be naturally awake, but then I'll be late for work. Cause I work at eight o'clock, not nine o'clock. So every day, every morning is a struggle. So. I was listening to a podcast and it was saying like your body is basically tuned to the light so like you should not be like looking at bright screen at night because it mess up your circadian rhythm and the same thing like in the morning if you allow sunlight to get in or any type of light in the morning it will help you to wake up and I just finally like I bought this from Amazon and it was delivered actually within the same day and this is from the brand Decala Sunrise Alarm I've never used it before. I've seen it in vlogs and stuff, morning routines, and I was always suspicious and always felt like it just, I don't need it. But recently it's been a struggle, so I bought it with my own money. So let's try this out, shall we? It looks like it's actually smaller than I thought, but which is a good thing, because I was thinking like if it's too big, then I wouldn't be able to like put it by my nightstand because there are a bunch of stuff by my nightstand. So like this is what the product looks like. It kind of has this like oval like surface kind of, I think it's trying to mimic the sun. You actually have four of these. I don't know what these are for. I think maybe like if you broke some of these, you can use the others maybe. And here is like the battery I guess. On. Air that's just sticking out. There's nothing on the other side. All right, let's plug it in. Yay! Okay, so now we just need to set this. Okay, this is the antenna. How do I turn on the light? Okay, this is what the light looks like. It actually looks really pretty. This is what it looks like. Can I turn it brighter? So it has buttons right here. You can turn it brighter. Or darker and it's this warm light I think you can buy like warmer light or cooler light tone but I like warmer. well this is actually really bright. okay I want it to be bright because in the morning I really needed for seconds and then press minus or plus so right now it's 9 o'clock well it becomes a.m. so I have to do it. there's color changing mode oh interesting so we could turn this on And then, wow, this is super bright, like super bright, like to my face bright. Okay, let's see if we can change the light color. Press the light, press it twice. So now it's changing color. Wow, this is color changing mode. So you will see it changes colors. Wow. Let me turn off the last to see. Well, it actually feels quite nice, don't you think? Yeah! Like, it feels nice. Like, if I project it this way, like, it will be really nice. Yeah, I actually really like this. I feel like certain lights will be more common versus... And then you can actually keep it, like, in certain lights by pressing this button. But let's just change it back because I actually like that warm light. Okay, I think it just stayed here. Okay, I don't think it's changing anymore, which is really good. Can you guys see me? Oh my gosh. We'll see. Oh, press turn on and off the alarm. So let's do this. Usually wake up at 6.40. This will be sound one. Oh, sound two is static. Sound three with music. Oh, this is really relaxing. Okay, I like this one, but let's just keep on going. Oh, I like these. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. 
And then you have the F and M, the radio. Let's not do radio. Let's do this one. Okay, so now the alarm is on, but I don't want it to go off tomorrow, so I'll just turn it off. You just press the alarm number one again. So it holds two alarm clocks if you need it. All right, I think this is pretty good. We're gonna set this up by my bed, and hopefully helps me on Monday. But today is Friday, so it should be okay. I don't want to wake up that early. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow at like eight thirty ish. And it's pretty much super bright already, so I'm not gonna be using this because I feel like the only like thing that will help is because like when it's dark outside, if you want to wake up before the sunrise, this will help. But like if you're waking up after the sunrise, this is probably not. Yeah, it's really big. <laughs> Where's my rent? Oh, there's a rent. Okay, we can go. She has a rent. We can have to board it. Shut up, big Remy. I am Pete. I let Zillow play the Damon. Let's do this. I'm still outside and made to still call it. Living out in Cali, raised in New Orleans. Still got the Vivian shades on, falling in the XL. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So whenever I drop, I represent flame. Everything the same. I'm in my own lane, doing my thing. I can't complain. Lord is my soul, so I'm still on top. So many mixtape features in the album may drop. Y'all ain't ready for the pain. The XL on the track, give me both the same sound. That's a 20 G stash. All that marble shit hit you right back. Check the mind.